Hello guys, welcome again to another episode on this channel. I remain Chris and in this YouTube channel I talk about fully funded scholarships especially for humanities students but I believe that other students would find useful information on the channel on, in my videos. If you're a returning viewer, welcome. If you're visiting for the first time, you're highly welcome. Thank you. It has, quite, it has quite been a journey and please and please I make a passionate appeal please do like the videos you see all the time so that YouTube would always recommend these videos to those to people and especially those looking for scholarships so, so guys in today's episode I'll be presenting to you a list of 16 schools that do offer fully funded scholarship for theological stroke religious studies if you studied theology or religious studies and you want to further your education either through a master's degree or a PhD degree, welcome. You are obviously in the right place. You would find this, this, these information highly useful. And the funny, one of the reasons I'm recommending these programs is that after my robust research on these schools, I realized that these schools are convenient to apply and they are really flexible in so many terms. What do I mean? First and foremost, these programs do not require you to have taken to have had an undergraduate or prior studies in theology or religious studies all they require is that you have you must have taken some number of credits in theology or religious studies secondly these programs do not require you to have for the phd programs they do not require you to have a master some of these programs do not require you to have a master's degree already and thirdly they do not require you this program do not require you to have written a graduate record exam that is gre fourthly this program do not require you to have written ielts or tofu this english standardized test and fifthly these programs can as well waive application application fee for you so you do not require application fee and some of them that do require application fee the application fee is very little i was surprised to notice that some of the schools will even would require a 30 dollar um, application fee that's really cheap so you would find this program you will find these programs like really interesting to apply to them and above and beyond all else in the sixth place these programs have funding robust funding so you do not need to pay for your school fees and you do not need to pay school fees and they will also give you living stipend so don't forget what i mean by fully funded it means that the money this school will give you cover your tuition your school fees and then they also give you extra additional amount of money to pay to um, foot the bills of your living expenses so for transportation health insurance and so on and so forth so that is that for the reasons i'm recommending these schools and the money that these schools are promising students comes from either research assistantships or scholarships or fellowships if you need information on these three things please Go back to my previous videos i have made a robust video on these three sources of funding scholarship fellowship and assistantships so let's dive right into it first and foremost i will list out the schools the 16 schools that offer full funding in theology stroke religious studies and then i will pick about five schools and then we'll look at the account the kind of funding that they have and then we, we would also look at what they need you know the admission requirement so that is that and then let's dive right into it so like i said i have a list of 16 schools that do offer fully funded masters and phd programs in theology and religious studies and most of the schools here are in the US and in Canada. I have one school though in, in Europe. And another thing I want to say is this, if your ultimate goal is to have, is to 
work in the academia like being a professor being a professor in theology or religious studies if you're, that is your ultimate goal you can as well try applying for the phd direct especially for those schools that do not require masters program for their phd all right so just give it a shot and you can as well apply to apply to the to master's program as a safety school or as a safety program you know we have our top place of where we want to go and then we have you know our down below list of where in case the top programs do not work these ones would work okay so if you want to work in the academia go straight to the go straight to apply for your phd if you do not um if the school do not require you to already have a master's program without further ado these are the 16 schools first we have the department of religious studies in mcgill university and then we have secondly we have the theology department at the villanova university we have the theological studies department at the Boston University in the US. We have University of Waterloo Religious Studies. We have Northwestern University Religious Studies. We have Within College Biblical Theological Studies. We have University of Calgary in Canada Religious Studies Department. We have Brown University religious studies department we have university of pennsylvania religious studies department we have duke university religious studies department we have university of british columbia religious studies department we have university of radboard i think that's theology department then we have concordia university concordia university in canada religious studies department queen's university religious studies department university of western ontario religious studies department and then university of chicago theology department so these are the names of the 16 schools and i will be leaving the links and names of this school in the description box below so if you want to get the link go to the description box okay and then i will pick mcgill university villanova university university of chicago and northwestern university all right so we will look at the kind of funding they have and the admission requirement so for mcgill university at their school of religious studies they have on the funding section of their page they said graduate students in the school of religious studies receive funding from several different sources during their time at the mcgill university there are many external funding opportunities for mcgill students and all graduate students are expected to apply regularly for funding for which they are eligible students also receive regular internal funding for their studies while the size and length of funding packages offered each year may vary the four-year funding packages offered for students admitted for fall 2021 can serve as a sample what this means is that well everyone admitted into their masters and phd program is given full funding all right so and they presented the kind of funding that their PhD student receive. Their PhD re student receive four years of guaranteed funding. Four years of guaranteed funding. I will look at the first year. So first year, the total expected funding for first year is twenty two thousand nine twenty eight thousand nine hundred and thirty two dollars, and then the tuition out of then the tuition is sixteen thousand one thirty two dollars then base two thousand eight hundred dollars i don't know what the base thing mean but terribly what they are saying is they will give you twenty eight thousand out of which they will take um sixteen thousand sixteen thousand in tuition and then the remaining is for your living expenses which covers your 
which covers your health insurance, your transportation within the city or within the province, your food money or meals money, and then your accommodation. So that covers it. That's for the PhD. And they also, the funding also, they have at least similar kind of funding for their master's program. So let's see what it takes to apply for this program. In addition to the supporting document checklist above, applicant must upload a statement of intent of approximately 500 words, which must include a well-articulated PhD or MA thesis research proposal. Please indicate the ways in which your prior academic formation prepares you well to undertake the research. Also indicate what ways the School of Religious Studies is well suited for the proposed research. For the MA non-thesis, this proposal should specify the areas of student interest. For the PhD, this proposal should be as specific as possible. So, and then they need a writing sample of nothing more than 30 pages. And then provide the names of professor or professors who are potential supervisors. So this program requires you to write to the professor to secure a supervisor if possible, if you are able to get. I don't think it is compulsory. So if you are able to secure a professor beforehand, so provide the names of these professors, all right? So let's see other if there is anything check in um, checklist. So supporting document, of course, your transcripts, your letters of references, and two letters of references, that is two letters of recommendation. That's that for it. No GRE, no TOEFL. TOEFL can be, if there is TOEFL, then it's TOEFL or IELTS. That is English standardized test. They can waive it for those who studied with English in English language. You also have uh, your application for assistantship, your academic CV, and the rest. So that is that for University of McGill University. So the second school I will be looking at in depth is the Villanova University in the US. Theology program is housed in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Okay, this is one of my best programs because. You don't need masters you don't need to have a master's program a master's degree to apply for their phd and the program seems very flexible enough so this is one of my it's i highly recommend villanova university especially if you're a catholic and want to apply for theological either masters or either masters or phd in theology and like i said before this is one of those schools that if your end goal is to get a be a professor of theology, there's no need to apply to try their master's program. Just apply to the to the I mean to the PhD program directly. So this is what they said about funding for their school. They said the PhD program admits four funded full-time students selected compet competitively to the program per year. Admission is for the fall semester only. This means that they only give full funding to four PhD students every year. This is highly competitive. So mind you, if you know you know yourself, you know your capability, if you know you are not that competitive enough, maybe you don't have good writing skills or you've not really done much in theology, you should better settle for the master's. Why for their master's program, they said tuition scholarships, assistantship, and graduate resident ministers. Villanova's grad, graduate tuition is competitive, and there are a number of ways to finance your master's degree. Graduate studies tuition scholarships cover the cost of tuition, while graduate assistantships cover tuition plus a stipend. So they can either give you graduate studies tuition scholarship or graduate assistantship which covers both tuition and living expenses. They also have other kind of funding. They will reduce 20% of the school fees if you are a teacher, you have taught in public or private schools. And then if something they say if you're an, a, an Augustinian volunteer, they would also reduce 50% of your tuition. 
so that is that so let's check what it requires to study the to be admitted to this program all right for phd all they need is online application form transcript three letters of recommendation application essay oh this you will be required to write an application essay your cv or resume and then $50 non-refundable application fee. The deadline, if you want to be considered for scholarship, is January 9. Funding available, yes. And then that is that. Why the masters? What do they need for the masters in theology? They need online form, transcript, two letters of recommendation, application essay, resume, and... Um, Yes, each of the application essay is 500 word maximum. And then they also, the deadline is also, is for the, for assistantship is February 1. And then, yes, if you want to be considered for fellowship, for scholarship or assistantship for funding, you need to apply before February 1 or before February 1. That is that for Villanova University. The third college, the third university we will be considering is the Northwestern University in Canada. This school, I highly recommend this as well. Their religious studies is housed in at the Winbeck College of Arts and Sciences, the Department of Religious Studies. Okay, so this is what they have to say about their funding and grants. Northwestern University provides all graduate students in the humanities with the same standard package of guaranteed funding. Currently, this includes the following: five academic years of student and of five academic years of tuition and stipend, five summers of study stipend, health insurance, U pass for public transportation. So, well, this program offers offer full funding for the whole of your PhD program and they even pay you money they also give you stipend during your summer you know during summer people don't go to school it's holiday period so even this summer they give money they give you funding they give you stipend to hold yourself and then they pay your health insurance and then they pay the your transportation within the city they also give grants travel grants like conference travel grants and then graduate research grants, summer language grants, should you want to learn a language during the summer, and then other kind of external funding. So let's see what they need. We will be accepting application for admission for fall 2024, starting in September until December 15th, 2023. So the Department of Religious Studies offers the PhD only. The, the master's may be earned during PhD study, but there is no terminal MA program. We also do not offer an online only option and graduate students are expected to be on campus for their studies. So this means that they do not have PhD, they do not have master's program. So invariably but you can still get the master should you want like should you start doing the phd and then maybe you want to up out your tired they will give you your instead of living without anything they will give you your masters after you must have met the requirement so let's see what other things should we look at requirements so in order to receive the master's degree the student must also complete the application for a degree form it's still the same thing that i have said the second thing they need is applicant need not have an undergraduate major or minor in religion but should arrive with significant background in the proposed field of specialization they should also have begun significant study of field appropriate languages so this program do not even require you to have masters for you to enroll in their in their phd programs all right and they do not even also require you to have a religion degree a religious studies undergraduate degree to be enrolled all they need to, all they need is that you have taken some 
in fact all they, they don't even need like they don't even need you to have done any undergraduate um, program in religious studies you know and they don't just need is that you are aware of the field or specialty that you want to specialize in for your phd studies or that that is what they need so i will stop at this um I will stop at this rate so that the video will not get too long. I will have a second part of this um, this episode where I will talk about where I will present the other schools that we'll be looking at: University of Chicago and is there any other school? Boston University. Okay, so yes. So thank you for tuning in today. Don't forget to like the video so that YouTube would recommend it to other people looking for scholarship and please leave your comments ask your questions in the comment section below if you do have one and please above and beyond all else share and please leave your like thank you very much see ya